extra three minutes to keep it going. And Browning, that's a ghastly sight. I see here in my nightmares every single night. There's Terra Hertz immediately again. Everyone is in their places. Let battle commence. Robotiers, stand by. The four teams in the control rooms. Only two places in the competition available. <laughs> Big question here, who can beat the mighty Razor coming out bottom of the picture and taking on Killy Cranky immediately? Oh, out come the little cluster bots of nuts. We've got mayhem here because Terahertz is going after nuts. The little cluster bots will come out and try and wedge in underneath opponents and flip them up and over. Terahertz with a mighty axe there and a very, very experienced driver in John Reed. And it's Razor crushing down on Killy Cranky with that deadly hydraulic piercer. Nine tons of pressure, three tons at the tip of the claw. You don't want to mess with Razor. There's the Matilda cam looking on from the CPZ. Oh, they've activated the pit. Down goes the pit. Now, someone could be on the edge of doom very shortly, and it was very nearly nuts. You can see the flailing chain, and there the self-writing mechanism. The protective ring acts as a streamer to keep it going whichever way it topples and it spins and attacks their terror hurts. Razor after the little cluster box, they look mini, don't they? Against the mighty terror hurts. Very experienced team. No more experience, of course, than Razor in the whole competition. I would think Matilda's out and Browning. That's a ghastly sight. I see here in my nightmares every single night. Killy Cranky after a lift. Little, little bitty cluster bot. Very experienced driver Ian Lewis of Razor just saw him there. And the mayhem continues at a little bit of a slower pace because they've measured the fight now. They know what they're doing, and Razor has got once again Killy Cranky in its grip. That's been his target all the way through. Nuts is spinning in a crazy fashion, but doing damage. And it looks to me as if Gilly Crank is in trouble. Razor has Gilly Crank. Oh no! Look at this! Oh! The mighty have fallen! They took Gilly Crank out and went themselves! Oh, what a close shave that was for Nuts! <laughs> what happened? It skid. He spun his wheels. And look at the boys from Nuts. They've got more tricks up their sleeves than Darren Brown, they say. And they're stunned, they're through. What a sensational start. Can hardly catch my breath. Let's have a look at it again. There's Terahertz immediately against Nuts. It was a personal battle, but Nuts rode that one and got away from the mighty axe as it crashed down. Razor has picked up one of the little cluster bots, virtually destroyed that. Here they go towards the pit with Prey, Killy Cranky, and they overbalanced and went in. And Razor sensationally out. Oh, cue surprises there. Killy Cranky kind of come to you first. It hadn't been tested in battle. Yeah. That was his first run out. Yeah. You know, so you weren't. I, I presume you weren't expecting to win the whole thing with a with a brand new robot. How do you think it, it did? Was, fair? It was unlikely. I think I think it was very good actually. I mean, we the tactics worked. We opened the pit, and then Razor clearly had it in for us. So we yes. thought, well, let's go for a mutual death pact and take them down <laughs> with us. Did you? Do you have any control over that? Were you spinning your wheels and thinking you you may have drawn him in in any way? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he clasped onto us, but yes. then we drove all the way across the arena into the pit. <laughs> that wasn't clear from what we were watching there at all. You killed that, Razor. You killed <laughs> Razor. You took yourselves out of the game yeah. for the greater good. This is a big deal for a lot of people who were very scared of Razor, thought that Razor was the one thing that could defeat them. This may have changed the entire competition. And do you know who's particularly happy with you? These <laughs> people there. <laughs> who nobody expected. <laughs> who went in with really the kitchen sink of a robot. Yeah, yeah. What was it doing half the time? Oh, yeah. it's, it's a good question. <laughs> there seemed to be a sort of team up between terahertz and razor Lil. So they weren't fighting amongst them. So we seemed to got the terahertz and the deer, which we were right with. We were right with axes and yeah, I had our mini bots. But, but then razor went after one of your mini bots. And got destroyed yeah. at yeah. one stage. Well, they, they were sacrificial, so you know. Yeah, the, yeah. One, the one thing we armoured against was axes. And it was Taking blow after blow from Terra, it's an absolutely fine. Yeah. Well, well done. You're in the head to head. Congratulations, Yay! Yay!
The two big daddies, I thought I'd be coming in here to the smell of victory, but Razor, what happened? I was all going really well, wasn't it? It, was, it, it uh, looked like it was going too well, maybe. It was you and Killy Cranky yeah. all the way, locked heads. Oh, it was a good tussle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely, it but bad. then it just didn't quite work yeah. out. Oh, you are bad. going home, you and your sausage yeah. rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Good it's stuff. a shame, but yeah. we have winners! Ooh. Beautiful, masterclass. Made it through. Happy? <laughs> Yeah. No, he's miserable because it's so cold in here. We can't yeah. find the axe very much or it just freezes up. Oh, really? So we're okay. we're really limited. We have to be so careful so about the axe. So does that affect how, the, how you work strategically yeah, yeah, in there? Yeah, it affects our strategy very much. Oh. Well done, Terahertz. You're through to the head-to-head. -to -head.